Good morning, Bucks. The OHS Drama Club will hold auditions for the virtual spring production of Bad Auditions on Camera on Tuesday, March 23rd, and Thursday, March 25th, starting at 2.30. Interested students will be pre-signed a time slot and should you reach out to Mr. DiLorenzo or Mrs. Mr. Berlin. To sign up for a spot, get access to a sample script and get a Google Meet code. Any student can participate and you do not need to be a current member of Drama Club to audition. Any student who is interested in applying for the OCTA scholarship should submit their paperwork by April 1st via the link on the screen. The OHS library is now open. Students in person may come to the library during study hall periods. Computers and limited seating will be available. Students interested in coming must pre-sign up for a pass using the library website located on the Oswego High School website. Capacity is capped at 10 per period. Also, students, please do not go to study hall first if you have signed up for the library. Report directly to the library. The OHS library is also hosting a Peeps diorama contest. Entries must fit in a shoe a shoebox. You must email a photo of your submission to Mrs. Iorio by April 7th at the email address below. For any questions, also email Mrs. Iorio. The winner will receive a $25 Walmart gift card. That's all for your announcements. Coming up this week in Buck Sports, the girls swimming and diving team competes tomorrow while boys volleyball plays home on Wednesday. We will update you tomorrow with the rest of this week's assignments. Unfortunately, there are still no spectators allowed at the events. Be sure to tune in to the WBUC for live streaming of events. That's all for today's sports. We'll have a great day, OHS. Thanks, guys. The weather the rest of the week will be very, very warm. Perfect weather for golf. Wednesday will be a 40% chance of rain with a high of 61 and a low of 43. Thursday will be a high of 63 and a low of 48. And Friday, with an 80% chance of rain, will be a high of 55 and a low of 36. Have a great day, Bucks. Morning Bucks, this is Griffin's Sports Update, March Madness Edition. This year's NCAA tournament has shown a lot of excitement and a lot of good games. It's like the first round when Oral Roberts, 15 seed, would take down two seed Ohio State, busting most of the brackets in the country. 13 seed North Texas would take down Purdue, the four seed, also in the first round. And our own Syracuse Orange, as an 11 seed, would upset six seed San Diego State. They would move on to the next round where they would beat West Virginia to move to the Sweet 16. The Orange are looking good. I think they have a good shot of making a Final Four run this year. They've shown a lot of potential, and they look good in the tournament this year. The double-digit seed Orange are always disgusting in the tournament. We'll see what happens next. A lot of good games still going on. That's all for March Madness Update. Have a good day, Bucks.